So here it is. Wish me luck on my first day on the job. Okay, so you guys really wanted this video. I asked you guys in my recent video why Air Jordans are sitting on shelves uh, for 120 likes if you wanted to see this and it's only been two days and it's at 208 likes. Holy crap. Now after watching this video, if you want to go check out any of my other videos, go do it. I have a lot of, a lot of videos. I think I have almost 200 videos on the sneaker channel. I'm a Canadian YouTuber, I'm 20 years old, from Toronto, from the 6, repping the 6 with Drake and uh, I love making sneaker videos. So if you like sneaker videos, you should subscribe and that's enough out of this little advertisement. This is part one, we're talking about how I got hired at Foot Locker. Part two is going to be how I got fired at Foot Locker. And part three is going to be my experience working at Foot Locker. Now, at the end of this video, I'm gonna ask you guys a small, small favor. I just wanna see how much you guys want this stuff. And, and it's fun, it's fun. It's, I like engaging with you guys. I got so many comments in the other video. They're like, yo, I wanna see this, I wanna see this. I'm like, yo, that's awesome. My viewers wanna see it. This is a real Foot Locker employee uniform. It's got Foot Locker on the side right here. Probably asking, where's my name tag? I lost my name tag. I spent 20 minutes before making this video trying to find my name tag. I could not find it. But one thing I did find was this. My employee discount card, my associate card for Foot Locker. It has my name on the back of it too. So there you go. It's not like fake or anything like that. The camera is not playing nice right now. The camera, come on camera. You have one job. Yeah, that's my name. The discount doesn't work. It doesn't work no more. So I can, I can throw that in the trash, but I'm gonna keep it. We just switched up my shirt and we switched up the setting so I could sit on a chair um, because I wanna get comfortable telling you guys a story. So let's do it. This story takes place back in February of 2014. And at the time I was working at Air Postel, a clothing store, a clothing store I'm sure most of you guys have heard of. Uh, they sell a lot of clothing for like young adults, teenagers, uh, some kids. And so I had been working at this Air Postel for two years. And at this point in my life, I wasn't a big, like major sneakerhead. I would say I was a sneaker enthusiast, but I wasn't really keeping track of releases. And at this time I was also huge on Supra's. Supra footwear was like the one brand I was really, really brand loyal to. I was also looking for a pair of all white shoes. And I think this was during the time when ASAP Rocky uh, was wearing white sneakers and like, and all white sneakers was a huge trend. So I wanted a pair of white sneakers um, just because I didn't have any. So after my shift at Air Postel, I went to the Foot Locker downstairs and it was literally like right underneath. Like just one escalator trip and a couple steps and you're in the Foot Locker, which was really convenient, especially when I worked at both places so I could do double shifts. So I walked into the Foot Locker and the very first sneaker that caught my eye was this sneaker here, the white Air Jordan 6 in the infrared colorway. Now I fell in love with the sneaker instantly. I was like, this is like such a cool looking sneaker. It has like a black spoiler in the back. I just I just thought it was really, really cool. And I didn't know really anything about Air Jordans. The only Air Jordans I cared about or like noticed before that was the Air Jordan 4 Toros. Um, and those, those came out before my birthday, one day before my birthday, so I didn't have money to buy those. And I also wanted to get the bread ones, which I failed to camp out for. Um, but I'll tell you guys those stories another time. Um, so I didn't really care too much about Jordans, um, but it turned out it was an Air Jordan. So I was like, oh, this is really cool. It's an Air Jordan. Um, but they only had one size 11 left. And that's great, right? I thought it was a size 11 at the time. So I thought I had to only get that one size 11. I'm actually a size 10. They had two size 10s left when I went to shop uh, one week after the release date. And I was like, Mmm, I can't squeeze the 10. Can't do it. I know it's gonna be too tight. I've been size 11 for the last few years. Silly me, right? So it turned out I couldn't buy that one pair of Air Jordan 6s in a size 11 um, because they had them on hold for a customer. Somebody had called in earlier that day asking that they could be placed on hold so they could get picked up at 8 p.m. Um, that night. And so I was really disappointed, but I still wanted a pair of all white shoes. So I kept on looking in the Foot Locker. I eventually found the Air Jordan 1 um, mid in the all white colorway and I actually wanted the Air Force Ones on um, the Air Force One mids originally when I went into the store But I couldn't find them But when I saw the Air Jordan Ones I was already in the Air Jordan section and the Nike Air Force Ones were on the other end of the store Which I didn't realize until it was way too late So I picked up the Air Jordan 1 and was like, okay, 
if this flops, like if I can't get the Air Jordan 6, I'll just get the Air Jordan 1. So the time that I was told that the lady had to come in for um, was 8 p.m. The second it was 8.01, they said I could buy the shoes. I was like, yeah. So it wasn't 8 p.m. just yet, it was 7.30, and I was looking at the Air Jordan ones, and I was like, okay, if she doesn't come, I'm going to buy these sneakers. They're gonna be like the backup prize, I guess. So from 7.30 to 8 p.m., that 30 minute time slot that I had to wait and just kill time, I was just chilling in the Foot Locker talking to two employees and I was also going to Zoomies, going to find out what they had in stock. I bought a hoodie and some other stuff. Then I came back to Foot Locker and I started talking again to the two employees uh, at the front of the store. And the store was pretty dead, so the employees could talk to me. One employee's name was um, Antoine and the other employee's name was Steve. So I was talking to Antoine and Steve and just talking about sneakers with them. And I actually told them um, that I bought a new Air Jordan that came out called the Air Jordan 1 um, 95. And it was a Air Jordan 1 hybrid, a hybrid of the Air Jordan 1 and the Air Jordan 11 bread. And I was just telling them about, oh, it's really cool because they, they borrowed elements from this and this and, and all this and it was so cool. And I was just telling them about sneakers and I was telling them about what I like about sneakers and all that stuff. And they were just asking me questions like, oh, so what are you doing for school and all that? Like they were sort of giving me like a mini interview. They were just getting to know me, I guess, which was really cool. And so we talked for about 20 minutes and then the customer came into the store and they bought the Air Jordan 6 and I was really sad. I was like, yeah, man. But at the same time, I, I got the Air Jordan 1. So I was like, yeah, it's awesome. As I was leaving the store after buying the Air Jordan 1s, I got stopped by Steve, um, one of the two employees I was talking to. And Steve was like, hey, Christian, um, why don't you drop off your resume um, whenever you can? And I was like, damn. What? I was so confused. So I was like, okay, yeah, for sure. For sure, yeah. So I left the store, went home to my laptop, and the very first thing I did was I started writing up my resume, like editing it and everything. And then the very next day, I brought my resume uh, around the same time. It was like, hey, Steve, uh, I was in yesterday. You asked for my resume. And so I gave him my resume. He's like, oh, great, thanks, Christian. Um, we'll give you a call in a couple of weeks. I was like, damn, they're already gonna give me a call in a couple of weeks? I'm cool with that. So as it turned out, Antoine and Steve, two of the people I were talking to were both full-timers at the Full Logger. Uh, Antoine was a full-time sales associate and now I believe he's an assistant manager. And Steve was the manager at the Full Logger. And I guess I must've made a really good impression on them because I left the store after talking with them for 20 minutes about shoes and about my life and they wanted me to give them my resume. That was the first time that's ever happened in my entire life. So a couple weeks roll by and uh, I get a phone call as I was out with my girlfriend at the time, my ex, my psycho ex, and it was Steve from Foot Locker. And he was like, hey Christian, um, so so we wanna interview you, just, just come in, uh, come in, are you free? Are you free in like two days? He doesn't talk like that. That's a horrible impression or impersonation or whatever that was. But he was like, hey, you wanna come in in two days? And I was like, yeah, sure, I'm free. Hell yeah, I'm free. Hell yeah, I am free. So I got off the phone and was like, hey, psycho ex-girlfriend, I just landed an interview with Foot Locker. How crazy is that? During my interview at Foot Locker, I had um, like dark, dark jeans on. I had a pair of dressier boots. I brought a white dress shirt and a tie. Uh, I think I brought my suit jacket too for the interview. So I was, I was overdressed for the interview. During the interview, he asked me a bunch of questions. Um, he, he said he really didn't need to know too much. He was really impressed by what I told him already uh, from working at Apostel, like what I, what I can do and where I was going with my life and, and what I was doing at the time. He was impressed by that enough that he's like, he just really wanted my availability. Like he just wanted to find out when I was available to work at Foot Locker. And he told me he wasn't gonna steal me from Air Postel, so it would be no problem for me working some days Air Postel, some days Foot Locker, because Foot Locker already has like enough staff as it is. But uh, he just wanted to follow up with some questions, ask me certain things like, like, I forget what the terms are, but he asked me about like sales goals and stuff like that. And I didn't know any of this. So after the interview, I was feeling pretty pooped out because I didn't really give the best answers to all the questions. But one week later, Steve calls me back and was like, hey, um, come in. We have some stuff for you to fill out, like an uh, application uh, and, and like the, the, just like all the forms you do when you actually work at a new place. He said, come in to fill out those forms 
and I actually vlog that. It's one of my most popular vlogs on my, my vlogging channel. I'll leave a link in the description down um, the below if you guys want to watch my vlog of me working my first shift at Full Locker. Um, but yeah, I, I filled in the paperwork one week later and bam, I was hired. Just like that. Just like that. So there you guys go. That is my story on how I got hired at Foot Locker. Probably nothing like you'd expect it to be like. I didn't go through a vigorous application process. I didn't go in every week to try and apply. Uh, I wasn't even looking for a job when I got hired. So that's insane. That's insane to me. And I also want to know if you guys want to see um, how to get hired at Foot Locker because I learned a lot of things at Foot Locker. So uh, I'm not going to ask for any certain amount of likes, but if this video gets enough comments asking me um, how to get hired in retail or how to get hired at Foot Locker, I will make that video. So just let me know in the comments down below if you want to see that and let me know what you think about the story and me getting hired at Foot Locker. Um, but if you guys want to see the second part of the series, part two, how I got fired at Foot Locker, I want to see if this video can get 300 likes. If this video can get 300 likes, I'll tell you guys a story of how my ass got fired at Foot Locker. But that's it for this video. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for, for being awesome, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Instead of wearing these shoes right here, instead of wearing my white infrareds, I'm going to go with the white Air Jordan mids, and that is because